Hey guys, this is Bryce with Bazinga Lawn Care. Today I'm going to be doing a epoxy on my trailer floor. It's a 2019, uh, don't mind the tripod, 2019 Empire Trailer 7 wide by 16 uh, with a, a little one foot extra nose for the V nose. I'm gonna be epoxying the floor, getting it ready for uh, a trailer swap out. Uh, installed these D rings yesterday. I uh, didn't think about videoing, but I did. Uh, has this E-Track on them. I uh, got the D-rings. I put a total of nine. Over here is going to be a shelving area, but I want to get the epoxy floor down. I uh, found some wood epoxy that will work for trailers. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and comment. I'm going to be recording in and out. Uh, next, I already swept, cleaned the floor, and going to be taping and the product I'm going to be using today is Rust-Oleum Rock Solid. Um, it is gray. Um, this is the product. I got it at Home Depot. I think it was $60 for uh, one box. Um, let's hopefully it goes down easy and it doesn't crack. Uh, I believe it's Hurricane Hannah just hit uh, south of us. Uh, hopefully we don't get any rain bands and messes up my, uh, my ramp. Here I'm just using some blue painter's tape to trim out the edges so I don't get any epoxy on the walls. Just something, just try to keep a cleaner edge, tighter edge, crisper edge, um, and just from there, uh, keep on moving around the trailer and then I'll also do the uh, D-ring slash shackles, depending on what you want to call them. Well, we're all taped up, ready to go. It's hot, I'm sweaty. I'm sure you can tell my shirt color has changed, but it is what it is, it's, it's Texas. Um, you can kind of tell I taped down all the D-rings. I'll try to do this without hitting my head. All the D-rings are taped out, all the side walls are taped. Um, kind of can't tell. Piano hinge is taped. Uh, the ramp is taped. Let's see what happens. It, I don't know what the temperature is in here. I probably should put a um, thermostat or a thermometer in here. But uh, yeah, it's hot, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. All right. All right, so I'm now gonna be putting the epoxy down on the ground, uh, trimming it in um, and see what happens. Uh, if all else fails, I screwed up. Not all I can think of. Let y'all watch me screw up. <laughs> That's not plumber crack that you're seeing there while I'm trimming in. That's just me being pasty and white uh, and Irish. So there it is. I've edited all the plumber crack out. I advise buying the second roller as uh, the one they give you doesn't work. Falls apart. This went south real quick. Well, changed rollers. Don't think it's right. It's not gonna work right, but it'll work. Once you mix this stuff, you only got 45 minutes. So I gotta hurry. So here I'm using a second round of this epoxy. Went to the store and bought another round. For this size trailer, I would recommend buying the two and a half car garage style epoxy. I ran out and where I went wrong, I believe. Um, do your numbers, check your square footage. If you're doing it on wood, expect that the wood's going to soak the epoxy. That's what I didn't think of. Square footage was right, but the wood just soaked it in.
Well, guys, it's 24 hours later. Uh, everything's done, dry, and I'm walking on it. I believe I can drive on it now. Two coats later, uh, it's hot in here, so it should be dry. Give you a little, see what we got. Not the happiest about it. Um, two coats. You can kind of see, like, right here in the corners. I even trimmed that in. Uh, that's actually tape right there but it's all right little view here not too bad yeah there's a glare but well tell me what you think uh this is bryce with bazinga lawn care i appreciate y'all tuning in and uh if you like it like it if not like it anyways because i worked my butt off on this thanks guys bye